Well, hello and welcome to Intentional Photography. Today I want to talk to you, or actually I want to ask you, are you getting the most from your camera? Are you getting the most from your DSLR or perhaps your mirrorless system? Some camera you have that is adjustable. Are you getting the most from it? And the reason I'm asking that, I know so many people that their camera rarely, if ever, comes out of P mode, program mode. Uh, a lot of folks are shooting in JPEG only. And I want to talk to you a little bit. This may go into more than one session. I want to talk to you about getting the most out of your DSLR. And we'll do that first by doing some comparisons. Now today I'm going to be a little bit more cautious about my composition. Lately I've just been taking photos for the purpose of tutorial. Today I'm out on the back side of my property. It's a little rougher than the other pieces you've seen before, so I don't venture this way much. There's several uh, springs that make things a little marshy, and the uh, large creek is down this way, so I'll be showing you some of those things. But on my way, I'm going to be looking for things that make for a decent composure now, or composition, I should say. And um, we're still on lockdown, so I'm still very limited. I am dying to get about 45 minutes west of here to get out into the Blue Ridge Mountains and do some mountain landscapes and things like that, but we're still restricted with travel, so I'm kind of staying here in my little patch and finding the intimate things that can be found. Right now I've found some uh, ferns that are just uh, opening up, so the little heads are still curly cues and there's no leaves on them yet. Uh, so I'm doing a, a very extreme close-up of those things uh, and I'm going to do them in program mode and then I'm going to switch over. And I call this the difference between taking a picture or making a picture. If you set your camera on full auto, it's going to make all the decisions for you. In fact, I have a friend of mine that we joke around that P stands for, well, before I tell you that, you know the books that are all about how to do different things, um, Windows for Dummies or Excel spreadsheets for dummies or all these various other kinds of things. I, the topics are almost endless. Well, a friend of mine and myself call the P setting on the camera to be an abbreviation for push here dummy. Because if you're shooting in JPEG mode, and you're pushing and you're shooting in program mode, then the only decision you are making is where to point your camera. You're letting the camera make all the rest of the decisions for you. So let's do a few, let me take some pictures in program mode. Let me switch over to uh, either manual mode or aperture priority, which is the one I use most, or sometimes I will go to shutter priority. But today, probably aperture priority is where I'm going to be. So let's do that. Let's do a few comparisons. I'll show you around a bit more of the property as we go and see where we come up with from there. So here are the ferns I mentioned taken in program mode with area focus. The camera chose the subject poorly. It should have chosen the fern heads, not the leaf behind them. This is one of the problems when we let the camera decide. Playing fair, I gave the program a target for focus, and it did a better job. The focus is a bit soft, but there was a bit of wind that may be the cause. The camera chose f6.3, as did I. This was the lowest aperture available at full zoom. But the exposures do not look the same. This is due to the fact that I used manual focus and that in producing a JPEG image, the camera firmware makes certain decisions concerning how the image should appear. Raw format can be considered a digital negative. All the information that was before the lens at the moment of exposure is contained in that file. This allows greater latitude during post-processing so the photographer produces the image as they thought it should be. So here you have the camera's idea about the shot and mine. Which do you prefer? And here I found a patch of some kind of moss that's shooting up its tendrils. Looks to me like it will be a good subject for extreme close-up. Let's try that same thing with the program mode and then with my manual selections. See how those work. And here you see that the results are very much the same. 
The aperture priority photo is much sharper. Part of that is focus, but a good portion of that is because it was in raw format, and so therefore I had much more leeway in trying to manipulate that image in post-processing. It has a much wider dynamic range in its colors and lighting, so that overall I think it just comes out as a better image. Folks, I hope you'll pardon this being handheld, but as I was photographing that one particular piece of moss, I noticed this one that's a little bit more isolated, a little bit more distinct, so I moved up here to it. And as I was preparing to pack up to head down to the creek, as I promised, I happened to look up the branch, and I found these nice, some type of fungus growing there. So instead of down to the creek, as I promised, I did a, a few of this particular fungus. So let's get our shots into the post-production and see what we wound up with and make some comparisons. As with the previous image, the human choices provide a very different image from the ones created by software. As with the others, the dynamic range is significantly wider in the raw image, but also the sharpness allowed because of the depth of field. The program mode consistently chose f6.3, while except for the first image, I was at f8 and here at f11. The shorter depth of field at f6.3 means the program image didn't come into sharp focus until three-fourths of the way up the frame, while the f11 shot has sharp focus throughout at least 85% of the image. Now, here, finally, a real decision to make. This time the program mode chose f6. I stayed with f11. The raw image after going through post-production has less contrast than the JPEG from the program mode. The raw image has better clarity, but I prefer the blurred background of the JPEG. It's about a coin toss for me. Which do you prefer? Scroll down and leave me an opinion in the comment section. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content, please subscribe. Most of all, thanks for watching.